Hello everyone, this is Tim, and this is your weekly Oracle card reading for November 4th through November 10th. And I know I said I wasn't going to do one for you this week, even though I'm on vacation. I've had a little bit of extra time, so I thought I'd go on ahead and just upload this early for you. And I feel connected, uh, I'm still feeling connected with, you know, Pink and the... Uh, Archangel Ariel and Archangel Jophiel. And that's why I went with the um, Romance Angels. I was looking through my Oracle decks, and this is the one that popped out. And I also felt that the uh, fairies wanted to come back in and uh, give us a message for this upcoming week because we were really working with um, nature last week, with earth magic. And we're going to get another bonus card from that deck as well. So also, I look what I got for uh, in the mail. I finally got the Talking to Heaven uh, deck by Doreen Virtue and James Ron Pra. And I will tell you what, I don't feel that I'm going to be using this deck for weekly readings, just simply because um, the feel of this deck is really about working through grief and connecting with family, relationships, individuals um, who you have had relationships with on the other side. So if at any point in time when I'm doing readings where, for example, um, Doreen Virtue has the Angel Therapy Oracle card deck, and the, there's a card in there that's mediumship. If that card pops up, I'll probably pull this as a backup bonus card. But um, I like this deck, just don't feel it's really... Uh, fits with the weekly reading. But for this week, we're going to be working with these two decks, the uh, messages, magical messages from the fairies and the romance angels. Now, I already pre-shuffled these, so I want to just go on ahead and get a feel for what's coming up for the first part of the week for November 4th, 5th, and 6th. And this one comes through. And this will be for the middle part. And then we will pull one from the Romance Angels. And as always, you cannot do this wrong. I always ask for protection before I do these. And if you're working with cards, you're very new to it, you always want to surround yourself with white light and ask that you be divinely guided as you go through these and work with these cards. So as we uh, begin the process for the first part of the week, it says vegetation. And it says a new way of eating gives you more energy, greater health, clarity, and stronger manifestation abilities. So immediately I'm drawn to the green, which is really healthy, healthful eating. This is about um, going lighter in your diet. Uh, I'm also seeing smoothies, uh, green juice, juicing. So you may be guided to uh, conform to that lifestyle as you work throughout the beginning part of this week. Maybe go a little bit lighter on your diet, adding more salads. You may be guided to uh, eliminate specific foods that might be giving you digestive issues and problems. Uh, also feeling detox as well. So letting go of, you know, uh, I'm seeing alcohol, any, anything that you're ingesting into your body that is not allowing it to operate at its fully optimal uh, speed and give you the best results that you can. So being very, uh, you know, healthy eating as we begin about this week and honoring that aspect to allow yourself to be able to it, give you more energy as the card obviously says. So we may want to go on like a three-day or even a six-day type of detox where we eliminate salts or um, you know, anything that might cause any bloating in the body. Uh, chemical detox, again, is what I'm hearing. 
Um, the fairies know that, you know, fresh garden food is the healthiest, healthiest and most natural way to live. And you're guided to follow the fairy's wisdom and eat lots of vegetables, fruits, um, beans and nuts, and uh, especially any type of organic vegetables that you can uh, acquire. Those are always chemical free. Again, that would also help. But this would, you know, validate any feeling that you may have as far as, you know, shifting your eating patterns that would create, you know, a much more positive uh, aspect in being able to move more functionally and, you know, the clearer thinking. So the fairies are assisting you with this change. This could also mean, you know, a health or a behavioral concern is dietary related. So if you're having any issues body-wise, uh, digestive issues, indigestion, heartburn, it's definitely uh, taking a look. They're asking you to take a look at what you're eating and also what you're drinking. It says to eliminate chemicals from your diet, detoxify. Also praying over your food prior to eating it. And... Um, doing some research such as reading, consulting a nutritionist, or taking a class about balancing your diet with more vegetables and fruit. Transitioning to a raw fruit diet and encouraging your children to eat more organic fresh fruits and vegetables. Okay, so that's uh, what we have for the beginning part. And then, oh, wow, you know, we've had this before with new career. And it says your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, and successful direction. And for some of you, this actually may be a dietitian, where you are actually considering getting into that line of work where you are helping individuals to learn about eating more healthy. And uh, this new career that, as we come through here, allows us to be able to really um, you know, those of us that are considering making a career change, allowing us to be able to take the energies of this vegetarian card here, which is more, you know, uh, the new career will give us a lot more energy uh, because, you know, the, the career that you may be in may be one that is depleting your energy and your health. And it, it's not very, it's not allowing you to think clearly. And, uh, this this would allow you to be able to you know move and help individuals as far as you know getting them into more of what it what's what's for their highest good is what I'm what I'm feeling but keep your thoughts positive as you go through this week and take the guided steps that you may be given as far as actions that you need to take um, you know, network. This could be new people that are coming in because, you know, we had the relationship card that came up last week. So these new people we may be the individuals that help you develop new relationships in forming this new career. And they give you a leg up or uh, may give you the connection to guide you or help you to be able to, uh, again, make that connection to who you need to speak with to help you with this. Um, this is also about, you may be compelled as far as like, you know, updating or sending out, you know, your resume or any cover letters that you might be guided to, you know, update and get that moving as well. Also feel business ventures are, are involved with this too. Uh, this is also about uh, even learning. So the new career could even be more educational opportunities about you know, those of you might even be thinking about uh, learning more about eating healthy and, uh, you know, more of that lifestyle. So going back to school or taking classes or even reading books on that subject. As we move into the weekend, now this is uh, unrequited love. Now here it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And you know, what I feel with this, this is, is a, this is really in regards to this new career. Or it says, um, you know, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Now this, to me, I don't feel that this is actually a relationship with another individual, but more of a relationship with 
how your body, what you know, what's going on with your body and how you're relating to your body. Because that's why I feel there's this push to be moving into more of an energetic level. And I feel you're walking away from this. And, you know, you're saying enough is enough. And you're looking and yearning for something new, a new opportunity to be able to allow you to give you that um, option. So this, you know, unre unrequited love is really all about, oh, I would say that this is, this is really about trying to found, trying to find the balance in what's going on with yourself and uh, where it is that you see yourself heading. So to me that this is just saying, I feel that you're moving away because there isn't that, there's no longer that chemistry. And this is allowing you to, you know, move into other opportunities that where you may have otherwise missed those opportunities before. I feel like it comes back around again for you. So um, again, I feel all of this energy here is really positive as we, take better care of our bodies and our health and really forming those um, new relationships again. I feel that that's coming into this week as well. And I'm going to pull a bonus card. I'm just going to cut the deck here. This is from the Earth Magic. And this is the Eagle card. And this is about communion. I love this full moon that's in the background here and the Eagle. And I feel that as we move about this weekend, that getting outdoors, we also may be getting a significant message that comes to us throughout this weekend too, because that eagle is really symbolic of messages as well. It's looking at the bigger picture and not just being so tunnel vision, but taking a look at, you know, long range goals versus, you know, just the short, short range and, you know, what's going on just in the moment, but looking at the broader picture, and spending some time and contemplating and meditating. Um, you know, whenever you, whenever you see the, the eagle, it's really about, uh, you know, it's, it's for your highest and, and noblest spirit that, that it's trying to connect with. And it's really um, just, connecting with that spirit to gain that higher knowledge. So find that to be the case as you move throughout this weekend that you may be given, you know, messages. I also feel through dream work as well. And these are messages that are going to be big because I'm, I'm really focusing on the full moon here. So these are not smaller and definitely with the halo image of this, this is a bigger picture for you, a bigger message. So expect to receive that as you move throughout this weekend. So good. I, I like this. You know, take again, we, we had the message before um, of the previous week of beautifying ourselves and beautifying how we see and feel and connecting with others. And this moves forward again with this week of, you know, uh, that lighter energy with how we're eating. Uh, so moving forward with this week of taking it more easy on the inside of what we're digesting, so to speak. Okay. And these opportunities being, you know, with a healthier diet and a lighter diet and seeing the bigger picture of everything. So start the planning stages. Again, it's, it's all about moving forward and really allowing ourselves to soar just like the eagle. What a wonderful message. You have a great week. And thank you all of my uh, new YouTube subscribers. But if you're just new to my channel, I appreciate you subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye.